Or you know what? At least for the time being. Belt. Confirm its starting point and end point. Use up arrow to raise the conveyor belt one level. Use down arrow to lower the conveyor belt one level. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I know that. So let's just build this now. See, this is why I want to research this immediately, because it is slow as hell. Come to think it. Hey, hang on. Probably should get more of these things. Just to increase our production rate of science. Okay, so the grid load is fine for the time being. I should also make a thing for the motors, because I'm going to need that for speed. Okay, that'll do for now. And then we'll just keep an eye on that. Let's keep making more of these. And then we'll connect this over here. Research is too slow. Yes, yes, I know. See, this is why I was holding off on, like, doing this. Because building these conveyor belts is just really slow. But at this point, I do need to do this. Like, like if you want to do this fast, you gotta prioritize and reprioritize everything as the situation changes. If that makes sense. This going, this going, and we should have enough conveyor belts for the time being, so I'll just leave that alone for the time being. At least we're getting this faster. Okay, let's start making more... Uh, manufacturing things. What are you called? Assembling machines. It probably helps if I put an inserter like right there. I am going to be redesigning this later on, but I just need this stuff going in. Maybe I'll put down a container. At least a couple of them just so that... Uh, we can get that stuff stored up. I need more sorters. I do need to automate more stuff here. The flexion is too much. Too close. Okay, let's try it this way. Gotta get used to using these hotkeys again. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. That works a lot better. It will give you one, give you this, and we'll just keep producing those parts, and then I need to get some motors going.
So let's put the assembler right here. Oh, probably should do some research, shouldn't I? Okay, so this is already done. I guess we'll do this. Now, I need motors. Or, we need to research it first, of course. Duh. Okay, so we can now view the... Yes, yes, I know this. Uh, we're gonna need this, the wireless power transmitter. Okay, so this entire line is done. So, we'll start researching this stuff first. Okay, do the motors first and then the plasma. Oh, you should start working on this engine. And then weapon systems. We got Gauss turrets. Yeah, looks like we can use that. That way we don't have to like constantly move back and forth to just to defend. And you know, I probably should just automate uh, the sorters here. Where are you? So it takes the iron and the circuit boards. Probably should automate a whole bunch of other stuff as well. So sorter is here. And then over here, we'll have like Tesla towers, smelters, and assemblers. Yeah, let's get the assemblers to build more assemblers. Okay, chips and these things. Okay, so we're starting to get a nice stockpile of everything. Okay, get these up and running and we should have motors now. There we go. So we're going to need iron ingots, gears and magnet coils I probably should like set uh, the filters on these just so it doesn't get clogged up So we're going to organize it like so. So you need magnetic coils and iron ingots. Okay, what do you take? Okay, this needs stone. Got some of that already. Uh, we'll need this. We're gonna need some of these magnetic coils. Gonna need a lot of them though. And then the uh, iron. Okay, chips or circuit boards go in here. You keep this research going. Uh, also need to upgrade our speed here because we are slow as hell. I'm just going to manually make these uh, 
generators, these wind turbines, just because we're not going to be using that many of them. But we are for the time being, but once we get like solar power, like I'm not going to be using this. Let's just generate more power. Just keep this going. Okay, we're gonna need more circuit board production, so we are gonna... We're going to need more of, like, everything, basically. Now we have these defenses. Icarus can now use ammo. Press C to open the mecha panel. Load the magazine and activate it. Use ammo to protect both yourself and the base when the dark fog strikes. Ammo requires copper. Okay. Uh, just put this here then. Then sorters. What? I didn't put another one down. We'll do it like that. Make as much ammo as you can. Copper is self-lubricating, so it can maintain its shape and still reduce the risk of deformation and fracturing when shooting. Ammo box contains 20 bullets, so... How does this work then? So, does it just... To just fire automatically like this laser. A production facility has stopped running. Yes. If it's not due to a power failure. I know. Check if pro Okay, I want to put this turret. Oh, look at that range. So that's probably short range compared to like other turrets. Still pretty decent. I want it around my power generating areas over here because I don't want to be going over here that much. You've built a gas turret. This is a defense facility. It consumes ammo and energy to strike enemies within its range. You can either directly build gauss turrets on conveyor belts that are built on the ground, or use conveyor belts to string gauss turrets together. Okay, seems simple enough. Yeah, I'm gonna put this here. Okay, we've gotta continue producing these parts. Oops. Get back everything. Okay, so that's supposed to be copper only, and then this goes here. All the magnets should be going there. Oh, jeez. What the hell? There was no sorter right here. I'm stupid. Wow. That limited my production like by like a lot. Wow, that was stupid. But anyway... Anyway, uh, put this, no, this goes here, then put some of this here. Oh, we should build more containers. Like, we need more magnetic coils in here.
Okay, there we go. Getting more stuff. I probably should go over to our... Wait. Hold that thought. I need more... I need more power. Jeez, I completely forgot about that. I need more coal. And I should probably put that into a container. Shouldn't I? Just so we can, like, store it up. Yes, yes, I know. Abnormal dark fog signals detected. A significant statistical correlation exists between the density of these signals and our power consumption. On this planet, dark fog is monitoring our energy fluctuations to determine how much threat we pose to them. When this threat peaks, they may launch an attack. The upper left corner of the screen shows the cumulative threat to each hive. Okay, we'll just do that. Oh, we don't have any more of these. Okay, magnetic coils, come on. We need more motors, just so we're not slow as hell. And then I'll probably replace this, because after we get this upgrade, uh, it's, the only purpose of these motors is for the turbines, those green things. There we go, look at that, a little bit faster. And then everything else needs like red science. Communication control, we don't have steel yet. Uh, we'll get blueprints later, right now. Probably should... Okay, no more upgrades for the time being. What is this? We need an autonomous battlefield command and a combat support system when Icarus is away from the base. I mean, that could be useful, but... Start focusing more on tech. Okay, semiconductor production note. Okay, we're gonna need this. So let's enqueue that. And what is this? Combustible unit. As a fuel, generates enormous energy while as an explosive component be used to craft shells and explosive units. So what's the difference between this energetic graphite? 6.75 millijoules, 50%. This is... This is actually much better than the graphite. But where is it made? It's made at in the assembler. This is made in the smelter. Actually, you know what? Let's do this first. Like it seems like a better thing to put into uh, Icarus. Just as a fuel. There's steel going. And we definitely need splitters as well. So we'll just keep that going. Oh. We're gonna need more circuits and more of these things. Okay, we got a lot of iron ingots now. I really don't need that much glass, honestly. I probably should get rid of this ore. Let's get rid of the ore. And you know what? Probably should add another one of these all right so at this point I guess we'll construct more of this stuff 
wait, wait, uh... We have a lot of resources on this planet. Like, much more than before. So, there's the dark fog right here. And these look like... Things that are protecting it. So, we're gonna have to take this out eventually. It's all the way on the other side of the thing there. So, I think we should start building out this area over here. Make our production line. Unfortunately, we don't have that much in terms of resource production. I need more coal. Damn. Go. Grip spares for these. Put this here. Okay, we need to continue this production. So all of our magnets go in here. Okay, so we should be good for our secondary resource production for the time being. <sighs> Let me just go over here real quick. Oh, I didn't research flight just yet, so that's why we don't have that. Um, let me just get this. And then we'll put down two smelters over here. Or we can fit three. Or... No, 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 no. It doesn't take that. I'm thinking of the graphite. What I need... Is stuff that's produced here. Which is this thing. The combustible unit. just put our stores here and let's see yeah this is like much better let's get rid of this coal now you pro probably need the coal as well So, just in case, let's just store it up. We can release it later, if need be. Alright, so let's go back to building out the area down here. And we'll continue building more of these. So... Just get... Do this. Then get a whole bunch of smelters going. Two, three... We'll expand the smelters later. So what I'm doing is basically giving space. Or do we do we even need space? Like I keep thinking, the reason I put space there is so that when we're doing the blueprints, it's easy to copy and paste it and it'll fit like everywhere. And not just in one particular zone, but I'm not gonna be copying and pasting this one. So when I start doing blueprints, I'll be making like my own. Uh, I'll be spacing them out 
unlike what I'm doing here. This one is just like a temporary thing that is specific to this area, if that makes sense. Now I'm gonna need splitters. Am I researching it yet? No, I'm not. It's all the way over here. So never mind. So uh, what I want is to produce these things. And then we'll incorporate the splitters later on. I, I can easily add them in just as long as I'm maintaining space here. Now, doing all of this construction is tedious in this early game because you just don't have that many construction drones. Okay, so this is going up very slowly. So once this hits 100%, we're going to be attacked again. Okay, what's going on? Am I out of resources again? Yes, I am. You know, I probably should alleviate this bottleneck right here. Okay, let's add another splitter. It looks like this is fine. Okay, so we actually need three splitters here. Yeah, this will alleviate the bottleneck. Let's keep this going. Oh, uh, we don't really need this at this point. Let's just keep making sorters as well. What are we researching? We're doing steel. Alright, back down here. Oh yeah, it probably makes sense to start connecting these things. So we'll get our wireless uh, connecting thing here. You've built a wireless power tower for transmitting power. It also charges the mech. What I like to do for charging stations is I put like nine of these towers down to a grid, three by three grid, and it charges you up really quickly. So keep that in mind, the charging effect does stack. Now I wanna put this. Wait, where is the copper? Okay, so the copper is over here. Uh, let's put the building, uh, all of our construction stuff over here, because, or wait. So oil seep is right there. 
Like, where do I want to do oil when I get to that? Yeah, probably do oil over here. And then we'll do some... Or I can fill this in with... Once I get the concrete. So yeah, let's do that. Uh, probably should do it like this. Oh yeah, I'm also going to need uh, more power at this point. Can build wind turbine on water. What? So I can build wind turbines on water now? Like, what's that about? Oh, I guess that it means what it says. I can build wind turbines on water. Okay, let's go ahead and build it on water. So it doesn't make the water disappear. It just allows me to build on water and that's it. I, I was kind of expecting it to like build foundations or something, but I guess we don't have that yet. Okay, so that'll have to do for power for the time being. Come on, drones, get back in here. Okay, let's just build more of these things. Like, I really do need lots more of these smelters. But I also need to keep this research going. 